Welcome everyone. We are here with Jussi from Glue, hearing about their virtual spaces and their company. So Jussi, please, could you introduce yourself and uh, where we are now? Thanks, Santeri. Uh, great to be here. Yes, my, na my name is Jussi Havu. Um, I work as a CEO of Glue Collaboration and, and Glue is a virtual collaboration platform um, targeted for teams and individuals around the world who need their remote collaborations to be as great as face-to-face -face meetings are. And uh, yeah, uh, we are now at one of the one of the prepared spaces uh, that uh, is available for all the Glue users called Guildhouse. Guildhouse is a casual space, if you will, for virtual coffee break type of uh, meetings during your workday. Um, our customers use this as a space where they can they can casually meet each other next to the virtual coffee machine, machine which we which we also have in this space. And um, the other part of the space has a movie theater. Um, we, for example, have hosted our our pre Christmas party uh, there uh, once and uh, and have uh, have watched videos and and movies movies together. It's also a space for presentations and and um, kind of team team gatherings and, and town hall events. So uh, multi-purpose space, uh, but mainly for casual purposes. Excellent. Sounds uh, really interesting. Uh, could you tell me a little bit about yourself? Uh, what has your history been like? How you got interested in uh, XR technologies? Yeah, sure. So um, my background is in business and uh, I'm business executive, um, been working in mainly in technology companies, uh, both at Nokia and Microsoft uh, for the most part of my career, doing business development strategy and finance finance roles. Um, so I represent a target customer, <laughs> if you will, for, for this type of platform very, very well. After working in um, kind of larger corporations, I, I've uh, spent time with, uh, with startups, uh, first work with the self-driving car startup called AI Motive, um, as their chief commercial officer, uh, incubating, incubating that technology and taking uh, taking it to the market. Um, uh, but then um, got an opportunity to look at the XR space uh, during my journey at Nokia and Microsoft. Obviously, have been have been touched those topics as well uh, as they large companies have developed also some some uh, uh, interesting innovations in this space. Uh, but um, for me. Uh, working in uh, large corporations, it has meant a lot of business travel, and uh, I felt that uh, there there could be a better way for companies to collaborate remotely. And um, I saw the technology, and I was convinced that, that this um, type of paradigm can provide a true level of presence, which which is often the reason why people meet face to face. So uh, yeah, I joined Clue. Um, Beginning of 2019, as as a CEO, and have been have been on this on this journey ever since. Um, so this is this is my kind of main XR XR project to date. So uh, before that, various other technology related incubations. Yeah, sounds sounds reasonable. Kind of like uh, making your own work a bit easier, so not having to travel as much. Uh, could you tell me uh, a little bit about Glue? How's your team like? What kind of uh, software are you making? What's the history of the company? Yeah, sure. So um, company has a longer background. Um, originally, the team was spun out from the from the company called Hybrid Graphics, which was uh, uh, acquired by NVIDIA in 2005. And uh, um, around that time, a uh, smaller part of that company Founded a kind of industry pioneering effort um, to build graphics, 3D, and and special effects for advertising and movie industry. So, so basically, this um, uh, heritage of the company is in graphics and visual effects and everything, uh, everything related to those, um, which kind of shows the, in in the quality of 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 Glue's uh, visual experiences very well. Um, uh, since 2015 already, the team saw that uh, XR and virtual reality 
is becoming more popular, uh, but all the experiences at the time were single user solo experiences. And the um, team wanted to build collaborative platform where people can enjoy VR together. And, and that was sort of the starting point of, of, of Glue uh, as, as a platform. Team itself, it's around 30 people in size. To build the platform like this, it requires a lot of different types of competences. Uh, first of all, the graphics, obviously, which which I talked about, comes from the heritage of of, of the company in in that space. But then uh, we have applications running on various hardware platforms, both desktop uh, VR and various different types of VR headsets. So so you need people uh, who can do the front end client client development work. But the overall platform runs in in the cloud, and uh, and the back end and the architecture is equally important. Um, we are business to business offering, so we need to pay a lot of attention to security, and data privacy, and and these things. So competences uh, in developing um, business applications and uh, secure business applications in particular is something that 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 we have in house. Um, and then operations and, and business people and, and the team who, who are responsible for getting this into market um, is, is the kind of the um, equally important part of, of creating a business around Glue platform. Yes, so a lot of, a lot of uh, people with different backgrounds. Do you think it's easy to find people like that in uh, Finland? Yeah, this is a this is a hot topic at the moment. <laughs> so um, we um, we have been working with the similar size team already since the beginning because of the history of the company being in different business and and we pivoted towards uh, towards building a platform product uh, since 2015. Obviously, there has been um, different mix of talent that we have had to brought in. Um, so far, we have been we have been lucky on on getting getting great people into the team. But uh, as as we grow, it becomes increasingly more more difficult. And and um, thus we look also also talent outside outside Finland. And already there are people who uh, who come from other countries uh, who work in in the Clue team. But uh, yeah, so far we have been fortunate to get uh, get great talent to work work in our platform. Yeah, that's that's nice to hear. So I've uh, heard that you've had a lot of interesting uh, customer cases. So uh, could we take a look at uh, some of those and uh, see what their spaces are like? Sure. Let Let's then move into some of the spaces, and I'll I'll tell you more. Welcome to Salesforce Tower. Thank you. Looks yes. like an interesting place. So, what's this place used for? Yeah, um, so one of the functionalities of Glue as a platform is that uh, we can bring in custom spaces and experiences and uh, also our customers can build their own experiences uh, and bring them in um, as, a, as a space for Glue for their particular uh, meetings and events and, and interactions. And this is something that we've built for Salesforce. Um, they are pioneering um, on XR use for, for customer meetings. And um, in their concept, um, they have certain recurring executive review meetings with their key customers where they go through the last quarter performance and, and, and kind of provide, provide data to, to their customers about their future plans and so forth. And uh, this is actually a digital twin of their San Francisco Salesforce tower. We're now at the, at the third floor um, of, of the tower, and this is a digital twin of the lobby. And through there, we can go go inside and check um, the rest of the space to see, see how it looks. Um, so Salesforce actually sends out the VR headsets to their customers. Um, it, it is a little bit like a James Bond experience. <laughs> they get a, get a box. When 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 you open it, there's a tablet that uh, that opens up and starts telling you the instructions how how to get in uh, to the meeting. They have uh, kind of honed that onboarding experience to the to the to the maximum. Um, and then uh, once once customer uh, gets into the device, they'll they'll get into Clue and uh, they they meet meet the Salesforce representatives in the spaces like this. 
Um, for them, it's very important uh, that the brand image uh, of Salesforce is very similar to how they how they want to see themselves represented in in other forums as well and in the real world. So uh, for them, this was an obvious choice to customize the experience um, for their 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 use cases. Yeah, sounds really interesting and environmentally friendly as well. Yeah, so, sustainability uh, is obviously a big thing. Yeah, of course. Uh, so should we move to the uh, next space that uh, you had prepared? Yeah, we can we can have a look what uh, what some of the other customers uh, choose to do in Glue. So let me take you to one of the other spaces that we have branded for our customer. Okay, Santari, now we're at the Scrum Place, uh, which is branded with the Deutsche Telekom and T Systems branding. They they are one of our one of our um, customers who uses Glue for design thinking workshops and other types of internal meetings but they are also a distributor of glue and uh, they are there um, promoting and offering offering glue to their their business customers which is which is kind of ex exciting partnerships partnership for us us here at glue okay that's that's interesting so what kind of things they can do here in the in the scrum place yeah this uh Place is one of the one of the templated spaces that that we um, built for all the Clue users to use. Um, this is just now branded with with their branding. Um, all Clue spaces have screens where you can present um, your presentations and video material and images. You can of course um, import uh, 3D objects and 3D images in in here as well. And then because this is a Scrum place, uh, we have designed a custom Scrum board. Uh, there uh, for for the teams to manage their projects and um, then obviously all the other tools that Glue provide um, are are available. Um, so so the idea of the room is um, to be persistent, um, place where the project team can see the evolution of their project and work together. Um, that's also one of the key functionalities of Glue, allowing you to continue your work where you left it in the same same actual space. Yeah, that sounds sounds like a really important part of of uh, everyday work at at big companies. So you've been uh, working with uh, Deutsche Telekom and Salesforce and other big clients. Uh, what kind of sectors could benefit most from collaborative uh, virtual reality that have not maybe used it that much yet? Yeah, it's a good question. I think um, we we are we're kind of targeting quite broad range of different types of companies. Um, and and there are certain leading innovators in each of the field who have been pioneering these technologies. So there's a big uh, kind of broader mass uh, still to be been introduced to these technologies. But if you look at the use cases where glue glue works works best, uh, it is definitely for um, situations where the engagement level needs to be high. So internal workshops, brainstorming sessions, and scrum team meetings is a good category for any any type of business to, to use collaborative VR. And then in the case of um, Salesforce, fully custom environments allow you to build a great sales and marketing experiences. That's a definitely one vertical where we see a lot of customers being being able to benefit from, from these type of platforms. Um, and then education and training. I think that has been probably the, the the most widely adopted use case in virtual reality in general, whether it's a single user or multi-user uh, situations. For us, obviously, it allows you to have both teacher and students in the same same room to learn learn something new. And obviously, virtual events of different kind where the engagement level needs to be high. So. A lot of use cases which go across different industries. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so, how do you see the future of of collaboration in virtual reality? Like, what hasn't been done yet? Yeah, uh, future future is is a it's a difficult thing to predict, as we know. But I think for for our our industry, there are um, 
particularly the technology related uh, evolution will allow different types of experiences currently we are using this in virtual reality um, mixed reality and and uh, combinations of real world and virtual world offer interesting interesting future use cases obviously the hardware development um, will allow us to do more with the smaller devices and smaller headsets we are seeing each year these devices getting smaller and more powerful um, connectivity improvements uh, promise of 5g uh, hopefully will bring us bring us even lighter devices and and smoother experiences which will allow better graphics to be rendered real time um, and then cloud and edge uh, computing offloading some of the local real-time rendering at some point then will will make this whole category um, look something very different when when we can do all the computing or most of the heavy lifting in the cloud uh, and enabling real real-time experiences um, yeah I think uh, it is difficult to pinpoint exactly what what will happen, but uh, but uh, yeah, these technology developments will definitely definitely enable us to do a lot more in the future. Yeah, and they seem to be coming faster and faster every year. New technologies available all the time. So, uh, how do you see working with XR? Are there any any big challenges uh, at the moment that you are facing? Yeah, I think still uh, I talked about <laughs> the great technology improvements that are hopefully coming around the corner. Um, in today's world, we need to live uh, with the with what's available now. Um, while the mass market devices have uh, improved tremendously in terms of power and performance and resolution, um, it is still an optimization game in terms of how visually stunning uh experiences you can render real time with the frame rates that are are uh pleasant for users to enjoy so uh i think the the biggest challenge that we face is we're basically creating visually great looking experience for enterprise uh, we need to take care of the all the security aspects of 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 these things which are not necessarily requirements on the consumer uh, business um, so combining everything uh, optimizing the experience and and making sure that it's it's an enterprise enterprise uh, create create software that's uh it, it is a quite quite demanding task so for us that's that's probably the biggest challenge how can new companies find glue how can they get access to your platform yeah, um, I think if you already have a VR headset, um, chances are that you can find us as in your local uh, app store. So whether you're in Oculus, Pico, or or most recently we we provided support for for Vive Focus Three, uh, those standalone headsets are probably the best best places to go, and you can you can start using Glue for free. Um, more information can be found at clue.work on our website um, about how we serve enterprises with different different types of offering different customizations and and different levels of service and and um, yeah that's i would i would i would start with those those two sources uh, downloading the application from your uh, vr app store and then going to our website clue.work excellent thank you this was jussi havu from clue and uh, let's end this with a high five. <laughs> Thanks, Santari. It was a pleasure to talk with you about our company. Thank you.